Tyres here with Nathan Gorman at the Fury Return of Tyson Fury workout. How did it feel to have such a warm reception here today? Very good, you know, um, like you said, I'm on Tyson's on the card. You know, it's a big platform for me and to get a good reception from the, the audience, you know, it was amazing. You turned quite a few heads in the ring just then. You showed ferocious speed and in, like, incredible power in there. Yeah. Is the speed something that you've been working on in the gym? Is that something that you've always had? Yeah, you know, it's something I've always had, but, you know, with Rick and all the other coaches, you know, it's something I've added, added more, you know. Um, I've gone a bit lighter now, so that'll probably hopefully make me faster, won't it? So I've uh, been working on it, but it's something I've always had. Like that was a statement of intent for what's going to take place on Saturday night. Yeah, definitely. You know, I've been doing that all through my camp, you know. So uh, if I can do what I've been doing in my camp on Saturday night, I'll be laughing. You look like you're enjoying yourself yeah. in there, despite the intense heat. Yeah. Is fighting in the summer, training in the summer, does that help with the weight cut? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously, it's got you know, it's like a greenhouse here, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so it helps with the weight cut. You know, training in the sun. Obviously, I prefer training in the sun than training in the snow. Yeah. It's nicer. It's nicer, isn't it? <laughs> You've had um, three finishes in your last three fights. Yeah. Is the plan to go out there and look for the finish, or are you just going to welcome it when it presents itself? No, you know, I never go out there looking for a knockout because that's where you make mistakes, though, loading up with big, massive shots. I'm just going to go out there and box and, you know, hopefully um, get the win on Saturday night. You know, if the knockout comes, great. If it doesn't, it's a 10 rounder in the bag, you know, it's all experience to me. Training at Ricky Hatton's gym. Uh, amongst the likes of Tyson Fury, you've also had Dave Allen in yeah, camp yeah. this year. What's it been like having him around? Because he's quite a, another big character to have in this year. What's it like having him as a fighter? Who? Dave. Dave, yeah. Dave, you know, me and Dave, we're, we're good mates, I'd like to be, you know. He's a character himself, and uh, it's good, you know, everyone's in the gym, including Ricky. There's some laughs, you know, in the gym. Obviously, it, when the work comes down to it, you know, it's all hard work. But there's no having a giggle along the way, is there? Exactly. It's good. It's good to have everyone in the gym. It's good buzz. Finally, in terms of your opponent Saturday night, yeah. what do you think he brings to the table in terms of the threat? You know, he's a good fighter, Sean Tien. I know he's lost two fights. You know, he's lost a good level, you know, in Flip Hadrivik and that. So, um, I expect he's going to be on his A game. You know, he's had five or six weeks to prepare. So, he's had a good camp. And, you know, there'll be no excuses from him. He's coming in to, do, to win as much as I am. So, it'll be an exciting fight. Is watching tape a part of your game plan? Not really, no, you know, I watch, don't get me wrong, I watch two or three clips on YouTube, but it's Ricky's job, and you know, we cut over got Mike Jackson and playing Eunice's job. So, um, like you said, I just watch one or two clips, and that's it, I don't study him. I'm really excited to see you. Thank you. Yeah, you've got an incredible future, Ed. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.